In addition to your work as an election judge, you may also have the opportunity to serve on an absentee ballot board to process absentee ballots that are submitted prior to Election Day. These ballots come from local voters as well as from military and overseas voters. The absentee voting process can be complex. You'll need to closely reference the absentee and mail voting guide. Let's cover the most important points. Voters who are unable or choose not to vote in person on Election Day may mail or hand deliver their absentee ballots to an elections office. Voters receive several items with their absentee ballot. Completed ballots are sealed in the ballot envelope. This envelope is then sealed inside the white signature envelope that the voter and their witness sign. All materials are sent back in the prepaid return envelope. Voters may also have a voter registration application to return with their materials. The signature envelope is reviewed for errors prior to Election Day by an absentee ballot board based on requirements such as, do the voter's name and address match? Was the signature envelope signed by the voter? Did the witness list their address? Has the voter already voted? A full list of these requirements is in your guide. If the signature envelope is accepted, the ballot board judges or a clerk will note the status of the ballot in the statewide voter registration system. If an envelope containing an absentee ballot is rejected more than five days before the election, a replacement ballot must be sent to the voter. The ballot must remain sealed in the signature envelope until a week before Election Day. At close of business that Tuesday, judges can remove the sealed ballots. Before opening, make a notation next to the voter's name on the roster. Use AB to indicate they already voted using an absentee ballot. Two judges must initial each ballot and deposit the ballots into the ballot counter or ballot box. Your clerk or auditor will provide specific instructions. If any of the ballots cannot be correctly scanned, the votes are still valid. It's necessary to make a duplicate ballot that can be scanned correctly. Two judges from different parties must do the duplication. You may need to review rules in your guide for determining voters' intent. Absentee ballots from military and overseas voters are also processed by a board in a manner similar to regular absentee voters. You may need to duplicate some of these ballots because military and overseas voters are allowed to receive their ballots by email. Emailed ballots must be duplicated onto an actual ballot before being fed into the ballot counter. Another type of military or overseas ballot that needs to be duplicated is a federal write-in absentee ballot. Refer to your guide for further instructions. After all absentee ballots have been counted, the absentee ballot board must complete and sign a summary statement for the results, including statistics.